Winter is drawing to a close. With warming weather and longer days, more and more plants come to life. Insects like aphids emerge to feed on them. And on their heels, predators are lurking. Saltissidae jumping spiders. As the name suggests, they can jump huge distances for their size, up to 50 times their body length, despite their short legs. They achieve this by increasing the blood pressure in their legs, causing them to quickly extend and propel them through the air. Using their highly advanced eyes, they scan their environment, creating a three-dimensional map of their surroundings. Their jumping power allows them to navigate this maze with speed and efficiency. They have lightning-fast reflexes and razor-sharp fangs loaded with venom. These attributes make these spiders formidable predators. Against such a predator, a lone aphid, perhaps blown off course by a gust of wind, should stand little chance. As it turns out, these aphids are not entirely defenseless. When threatened, they arch their backs and pump defensive fluid out of tubes on their abdomens. Time and time again, the spiders are driven away. But these spiders are smart. And persistent. Another aphid, trapped in some silk. This time, the spider is more cautious. If the aphid's spines touch her before her venom can take effect, the battle is lost. This round goes to the spider. And once they've learned the trick, the aphids stand no chance. Hello, if you're watching this, thanks for, I guess, staying tuned uh, to the end of the film. Um, just wanted to say hi to all our new subscribers, welcome to Team Candy Roo. Um, and uh, obviously, I, I think a lot of you must have come from Reddit. Um, and you might remember there, I did like a little sort of AMA, answering questions about how we made the film. Um, so I thought at the end of this one, I would just sort of put in a little making of. Um, I've been wanting to film jumping spiders for a while because they're really quite technically challenging animals to film because they are absolutely tiny and I've just jumped away. Come on, come on, come on, that's it, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. Yeah, there. Nope. Yeah. Still rolling? Yeah. Cool. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in there. Go. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. But they are absolutely tiny little creatures. This is a Eva Lena Fulchata, I think. Um, 
and they're really really small, only about maybe at most about five millimeters long. Um, so that was a real challenge to film them. Um, this is where it all sort of took place. Um, this is my living room. Um, this is the backdrop I filmed them against. There's some rice wine holding it in place. Uh, this is a little flower pot. There was a growing flower in it, but it's died since then. Uh, and there's this little leaf, which is just some of the things that I just put in there to let them climb on. And just put some nice ivy behind it to make it look nice and natural. Because the spiders are so small, the frame is like tiny. Um, and so you really don't need a lot of space. Um, there's not really enough natural light in here to do that, so normally I'd have on top of this thing uh, a uh, 2000 watt uh, light which kept fusing all of my plugs, so I uh, had to go a bit easy on that one. Um, and I filmed it with this thing here, which is a Panasonic 101 uh, with a Nikon lens and a micro four thirds to Nikon adapter uh, and full extension tubes. Now, that was pretty tricky because um, you need to use full extension tubes or something like that because they're so small but that makes it very very difficult to do any kind of camera moves or anything like that so even if you just pull focus a little bit it would just make the camera vibrate so I had to really just lock it off and leave it a lot of the time just to get nice nice clean shots um, but yeah that's it this is this is how I made this film um, as I said it was just something that was going to be quite technically challenging and something I've never done before, but I always wanted to make a film about jumping spiders uh, because they're quite adorable little creatures. And don't worry, I let all the spiders go when I was done with them and none of them died, so that was all good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, do subscribe and yeah, well, hopefully see you soon.